Hey, what's going on guys? It's Relic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 favorite adventure maps in Minecraft. So to start us off at number 5, we have Sunken Island Adventure. So here you wake up on a boat, stranded actually, but you know, I got onto the island because I didn't want to put you guys through that water torture because it actually takes quite a while. But then you get on an island, and what the catch to this is, is that you have to explore and find different things, and there's a lot of different dungeons that you come across, and you know, I just find it really fun. It's almost kind of survival, but at the same time it's not because you don't really go mining or anything, you mostly just um, explore dungeons, find cool loot, and it's really, really fun, especially, you know, if you play with a friend, as much most adventure maps are. This one, yeah, well, I mean, it'd definitely be more fun with another person, but this one could definitely be a solo playthrough. So on to number four. Number four, we have Assassin's Creep, which this one, actually, I would recommend solo play, but it is really fun. Actually, like a year ago, Captain Sparkles actually played this map, and it made me want to play it, and I was like, you know what, actually, I remember this map, and I really want to put this in my number four spot, because, well, I said in my top five, not my number four spot. But basically, there's all different colors around, you know, that's like gray, green, pink, lime, well, that's like yellow. I actually uh, had a problem over there with that building. But they're, um, they all represent something different. Some, recommend, um, some represent parkour. As you see, I just did a little parkour thing. But this wasn't actually like a special one. They have to have like that above it. So yeah, like some are parkour, some are fighting, some are puzzle. It's really fun to try to get like all the pieces and beat all the things. Especially since they're all different, like I said. Well, they all have their different categories. So I thought that was definitely worthy of number four. If, in fact, maybe even higher. I always have. I always don't know exactly where to place my things because they're all just so awesome, and like that little snowman army over there. But anyways, to number three we have the dropper. I love how you guys can actually like see the ones that are gonna be for like the next places, but it doesn't really matter. Mm. I almost just like choked on my own spit there. But anyways, um, the dropper is really cool. Because it's like parkour, but at the same time, you just fall, and then you just want to get to the bottom. That's what the quote-unquote parkour is. And it's really fun, actually. And I don't know why my chunks weren't loading too good right there. But anyway, that's the, that's the first level right there. I'll try one more time just to show you guys. Hopefully my chunks load this time. But it's, it's really fun. Like, in fact, you know what, Mr. Pig? You're going to go down with me. What if he makes it? Oh my god, that would be amazing. No, no, no. No, no, I want to see if you'll make it. Damn it. No! The last punch he went in, too. Oh, I really wanted to see if he'd make it. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. My chunks loaded. I was like, come on. But anyway, that's the first level. Really fun map. Um, this would definitely be fun with a friend since it shows the fails counter and stuff like that. But anyways, on to number two, which is Harrowbrine's Mansion. This was actually, like, one of the first real big maps that, um... Uh, high pixel made and it's still my favorite uh, in fact this is definitely the best map to uh, do with a friend as you see you come into a forest and you find a Herobrine's mansion you have quests to do like the first one is defend these villagers by this zombie attack which I can't really do because I don't have a sword on me right now but uh, it's really fun it's and it has a lot of unique bosses which is really like the best part to it like, they all have different cool moves they can do that I have no idea how Hypixel made. Even though this map is, like, getting pretty old now, I still have no idea how he does it. But anyways, let's go to number one spot, which is Kingdom of the Sky. Now, Kingdom of the Sky, why I placed it in first place is because it's really, really unique. By that, I mean that there's actually voice tracks that you play. Like, um, watch a video one. When you get here, you watch the first video. I don't know if they're, I think it's only audio, but it's like a guy with like a really nerdy voice. And this one's also really fun to play with a friend since, like I said, he's like, he talks in like a nerdy voice and it's really fun to make fun of the guy that's talking and stuff. Really, really fun because it's really unique. And then, you know, you just travel around the world trying to figure out what's going on with, um, the audio tracks, which, you know, I don't want to really spoil. But, um, yeah, so that's how it is, and if you thought that my top five was pretty awesome, you'd want to play maybe one of the maps that I showed you, don't forget to leave a like, because that would help me, all out, help me out a lot, and if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, see you guys later.